Tattle, are you? Tattle, I'm here. <laughs> oh, and the day's about to change. <laughs> it's so hard to resist the urge to do that same scream right back at her. Tattle and you, young one of the altered shape. That's a really gentle way of putting it. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the great fairy of magic. I thought that masked child was helping me and I grew careless. All I can offer you now is this. I shall grant you magic power as a sign of my gratitude. Please accept it. I love the great fairy. Extremely early gay awakening for me. This I'm sure it was for a lot of people. <gasps> da -da -da -da. I've been granted magic power! I can do bubble blasts now. The man who lives in the observatory outside of town may know of the Skull Kid's whereabouts, but be careful. You must not underestimate that child's powers, kind young one. If ever you return to your former shape, come see me. I shall give you more help. Sure thing, lady. The second day, 48 hours remain. Alright, we've got tasks now. We're gonna set about doing our tasks. Beginning with showing Jim what's good. That yeah, that's right. Are you the one who just popped that up there? Not bad for a Deku scrub. Bombers have a hideout that leads to the observatory outside town. You need a code to get in. Maybe I'll tell you what it is. But don't think you're getting it that easily. I can't just tell you what the code is. You have to pass my test first. I am ready. Alright, line up guys. If you can find all five of us by tomorrow morning, I'll teach you the code. Are you ready? This is a really long game of hide-and-seek. You have all 24 hours, like all day, to find us. We're just gonna chill until then. Oh my god, I hate when they get stuck indoors. This is not going to be particularly, uh, like... I know where all of them are, <laughs> so I'm just gonna be <laughs> zooming to the destination. Oh yeah, that's right, it's all rainy and thundery. Sup, Tattle? Oh, why do we have to play these stupid brass little games? Come on, hurry up and find them already. Only two, 22 hours and 27 minutes until daytime. Thank you, Tattle, for keeping time so precisely. She's got like a little watch on her little invisible spectral arm. Uh, okay, let's think. There's one in West Clock Town. I like that we have different music on day two as well. It's like Animal Crossing rainy day theme. <laughs> uh, Alright. We'll talk to a couple more people too. I think that South Clock Town has changed a bit. I think that the tower has gotten a little bit bigger. No, maybe not even. There's a different dude up there. Working in the rain, still putting that tower up. Unless they don't want to face reality. Alright, uh, there's one up there with a chicken. With a cuckoo. Yeah. These little kids are really fast. Ooh. No! 
No! Ah! <laughs> One left. There's a guy up on the roof. Yeah, there he is. We can go in through the inn. It's probably easiest. Oh, it's a different lady. <laughs> I'm sorry, our rooms are filled. But that's it. day's work. Hey, you're pretty good for a Deku scrub. If only you were human. Then I could give you an original bomber's notebook and make you a member. What do you guys think? No way, no scrubs. I guess not. Once we let some kid who wasn't human join our gang. Boy, do we ever regret it. Sorry. <laughs> He's, they just cancelled all non-humans. But I'll teach you the code, just like I promised. I can tell you only once, though, so pay close attention. Are you ready? Alright. 2-4-1-5-3. Don't forget, Aki. I could write it down, but I won't. 2-4-1-5-3. 2 4 one 5 3 don't forget, don't forget. 24153. Almost there. Hurry up. Hurry up and load before I forget. Alright, little guy. 2, 4, 1, 5, 3. Yeah, I'm a member. Just a partial member, though, because of speciesism. There's a lot of cool stuff at that telescope guy's place. Oh, yeah. And, um, the Bomber's Secret Society of Justice forever. Secret passage. Secret passage, secret passage. When I get the bombs, hopefully I'll remember that I can go down that away. There's like, let's say a hundred rupees? Like, there's a silver rupee down there? Yeah, so Deku Scrubs also have this cool ability where we can just hop across water, but only five times. I don't think there's really. I'll no, just run past. Tattle. I wonder how the astronomer knows the Skull Kid. Hmm. A good question. I guess we're gonna find out very soon. Since we're on our way to his place. The concept of having a secret passage to an astronomer's place is extremely cool, extremely appeals to me, and this place in general just is one of my favorite things. It, I feel like this was taste making for me, honestly. This is the type of place where like, I didn't love it because I already had a taste in things. I think that <laughs> it like birthed me. The music here is so pretty. I used to just- so like when I played this game it was like before YouTube was a thing so you know listening to game soundtracks is pretty hard so I used to just like turn the game on and just stand in here and listen to it for hours really. It's so peaceful. Well well a strange looking child has joined me today. Are you a new friend of the Bombers gang? Hmm. Your manners seem much better than those of your mischievous friend from the other day. That ill-mannered troublemaker from the other day said he'd break my instruments. He said he'd steal my moon's tear. There was no stopping him. Even now, just watch him. He's probably causing trouble around the clock tower. Will you gaze into the telescope? Yes, I shall. So we get our first look at the outside. There's a lot of kind of canyon over here. There's some 
cold looking snowy place over here. Sorry, I'm still getting used to the camera. It's like reversed. So this is Clock Town. You can see the clock tower here, which I'll zoom in on in a moment. Some forest over here. Alright, let's zoom in. There he is! There he is! How quickly we suddenly can turn the telescope. Rude. Where did he go? Well, did you find that troublemaker? And that loud noise? What was that? Perhaps another moon's tear has fallen nearby. Go through that door and take a look outside. But I wonder how that troublemaker got on top of the clock tower. The only way up there is through the clock door, and that opens only on the eve of the carnival. Hmm. Well, I mean, the Skull Kid seems to have some kind of horrible magic powers, so that explains it from our end, from our point of view. We got the wounds here! Its sparkling beauty radiates rather strangely. I really like the moon's tear. I like its concept. I like the way it looks. I like that this guy has chickens. I like it here. So we have a moon's tear and we know somebody who wants one, actually. A great thing about the uh, uh, N64 era, Zelda in particular, is their dedication to trading quests. Majora's Mask, like, really, really got dedicated. Whoops. This is clumsy. What's up, Tattle? Don't you remember that Deku scrubbed one of the moons tier? Don't tell me you forgot. I did not forget, Tattle. Have some faith. Thirty-six hours remain. Oh, I'm glad that it's nighttime. It's actually convenient for what, something that I want to do. A little optional thing I want to do after this. After this, uh. After we get the flower. Let's have a look at that moon. Hmm. I don't know. I think it is looking closer in the sky. I don't care what those what those committee deniers say. It uh it really looks like that moon is coming closer. Okay. Boo boo boo. Here he is. The dog is still here. I must all right, I got one. It's a little funny, like the the system of getting giving items to people is a little bit clunky, because uh, you have to set it to a C button. The stone, you must hand it over to me. In exchange, I'll give you my spot here, Dicky Flower included. I got a land title deed. You really helped me out. Now I have the perfect souvenir for my wife. She hasn't set eyes on a jewel or strange sparkling stone like this in a very long time. The title deed for this spot should be in high demand among Deku scrubs, but you already know that. If you don't need it anymore, you can always sell it. Eventually, like, again, this is a very end of the game thing, but there are, like, different zones you can go to and you can eventually trade for, like, this long chain of trading land title deeds uh, to eventually unlock all of these, uh, all of these Deku flowers. <laughs> Alright, we can get up here. So the yellow ones are special, they let you go farther and I think also higher. First piece of heart! Okay. Ooh! The door to the clock tower opens only once a year at midnight on the eve of the carnival. So we've got over a day to go, actually. Um, I'm probably gonna skip. There's a way I can skip forward in time. Don't 
be standing around looking at your feet all day. Actually, can I get up there? Yeah, you really do go higher. I can get up here. What's up, Tattle? Yeah, alright. Okay, so there's something that I can do with this land title deed that isn't giving it to another Deku Scrub. I'm not sure if they're there before midnight, however. We're gonna find out. Time moves so quickly that I think by the time we get there, it's going to be close on midnight anyway. We can go see Granny again. What is it, night of the second day? I'm going to see what she's written in her diary. We're going to take refuge at Romani Ranch tomorrow. I guess it really will fall. Leaving my lifelong home and fleeing is unbearable, but nothing can be done. I think I'll take several of Grampy's favorite books. Oh, Tortoise, you're late. Tomorrow is another early day, so good night. I'll read to you tomorrow. So town is emptying out. Hmm. Oops, is there anything written in this book? No. I like that you can read a lot of the books. Okay, midnight. Yeah. Hello. P -p 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 Paper, please. Here you go, buddy. Saved me. <laughs> this fell down here. I'll give it to you. Thanks. <laughs> and now he's gone. That's great. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna skip time ahead a little bit because we've got a whole day that actually took me less time than I think it normally does. I'm gonna get a couple more rupees. There's another, uh, there's another map that I could buy. Which map was it? Oops. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, Tingle? Here anymore? Tingle? Well, I guess Tingle also fled for his life. Alright, that's fine. I understand. Maybe it was. I swear there were, I could have bought like the Southern Swamp or something. Well, whatever. I don't need it now. All I need right now is a map of Clock Town, and even then, it's uh, not particularly pressing. Okay, so we're gonna go here. I think I can do it here, anyway. And we're gonna talk to this little fellow here. Yo, hey baby! I'm a stylish scarecrow wandering in search of pleasant music. Time will pass in the blink of an eye if you dance with me. If you like, baby, we can forget about time and dance till dawn. We shall dance. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's actually really cute. <laughs> Shakes his head. Dawn of the final day. I'm still full of energy. Let's dance till night. We shall dance. Oh yeah! 
We'll have a little bit of time to wait at night. We have to wait until midnight. So we'll have uh, a minute to kind of take in the ambiance of the final day. But outside, it seems to have gotten kind of dangerous. Yikes, I'm getting out of town. Take care. I know of a mysterious song that allows you to manipulate the flow of time. I'm gonna say no, I already know this song. Oh, sorry, that's too bad. In that case, see you later. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes people might say different things, especially on the final... the final night. Alright, we're gonna talk to this guy. Hey there, little guy. Won't you deposit some rupees? Nowadays, even if people have money, they don't deposit any. Nothing, nothing! So for a limited time, I'll give you a special gift based on how much you deposit. For example, if you deposit 200 rupees, you get an item that holds a lot of rupees. All right. How much, how much, how much? We have 23 rupees, we might as well save them. I really am depositing 23 rupees. That's a lot. It's not a lot. My name is Link. You won't forget your deposits. Let me stamp you with my special ink. Now I'll know you when I see you. Alright. Got some money saved. Ooh! So let's take a look at this moon, shall we? Ugh, and the fact that there's no music at all, it's so delightfully creepy. What's up? That is a close moon. I wonder if already. Yeah, even the soldier standing there with his hand over his heart. <sighs> hey, Deku kid, you waiting for us to finish the bridge from the festival tower to the clock tower entrance up there? Sorry, my apprentice is panicked and ran away. This is all we got for a festival tower. It's not quite tall enough, is it? Sheesh. Even if we went to the top of the festival tower, we wouldn't be able to get up to the clock tower entrance. I apologize for all this. I wish I could scare that moon away. Yeah, moon scared everybody else away. And I'm not even sure who's around anymore. Ooh, I know somewhere I can go, actually. I know somewhere I can go to get something good. Is this open? Oops. Yeah, I think a lot of places are just like unlocked and completely abandoned. There's nobody left. We can go in here now. Oof. It's not stealing if they'll never be back for it. It's honestly kind of creepy. <laughs> Wedding dress and a mask, a bouquet. Oops. Um, yeah, that cracked me out on rupees. I'll go deposit these as well then. Man, the bombers are still here. Guys should really get out of town. It's dangerous. They're just kids. What can you say? Gosh. Where are their parents? Maybe that's a question that I don't want the answer to. Okay. Deposit some rupees. It's 10 p.m. Getting close to the festival. I definitely want to make sure I'm inside the lockdown for it. We haven't evacuated yet, he says. There you go. Uh, for reasons that will become clear soon, uh, you really need to deposit your rupees when you get them. I think I'll just, uh, 
go on up there. So when it happens, you can just walk on in. Mm -hmm. One hour to go now. God, that moon is close. Whoop. Okay. Oh, it's just its teeth. They didn't need to make the moon so scary. They didn't have to go this hard. Oh, here we go. The fact that the fireworks still go off. There's nobody in town. There's nobody here, but the festival still goes on. It really hits different now. Well... I really just want to, like, take in the atmosphere for a minute. Like, the fact that it changes to a timer here, like the countdown where even the seconds are ticking by. And like, this music, the chiming, the tremors get closer and closer. I won't do it this time, but uh, well, we'll see. Don't stop now, look, you can get up there now. There they are. Sis! Ah! Tail! We've been looking for you too. Hey, school kid, why did you give back that mask you're wearing now? Hey, come on, are you listening? Swamp. Mountain. Ocean. Canyon, hurry. The four who are there, bring them here. Don't speak out of line, stupid fairy. No, what are you doing to my brother? Skull Kid, do you still think you're our friend after that? Well, whatever. Even if they were to come now, they wouldn't be able to handle me. Hehe. <laughs> Just look above you. If it's something that can be stopped, then just try to stop it. Ocarina of Time back! Princess Zelda gave you this precious instrument. Suddenly, memories of Princess Zelda come rushing back to you. Hmm. You're already leaving this land of Hyrule, aren't you? Even though it was only a short time, I feel like I've known you forever. I'll never forget the days we spent together in Hyrule. And I believe in my heart that a day will come when I shall meet you again. Until that day comes, please, take this. I'm praying... I'm praying that your journey be a safe one. If something should happen to you, remember this song. This reminds me of us. <laughs> oh, really ruined the moment. Oh no, 
It's actually really hard because I have to use a stick to do this. It's not buttons. Please forgive Link. Please forgive clumsy Link. <laughs> Ruining this precious moment. You played the Song of Time. You remembered the Song of Time. This melody lingering on the edges of your mind is a song of memories of Princess Zelda. You know, come to think of it, this is probably the game that has the least amount of Princess Zelda in it. The goddess of time is protecting you. If you play the song of time, she will aid you. <laughs> Snap out of it! What are you doing lost in memories? Get yourself together. Getting that old ocarina back isn't gonna help us. Somebody, anybody, goddess of time, help us please. We need more time. I got time. I've got plenty of time. I've got so much time. Huh? When did you get that instrument? Okay. Just tooting. Save and return to the dawn of the first day. Yup. I love this. The way they've done this is so cool. It's still so stylish. First day, 72 hours remain. Good morning. What just happened? Everything has... ...started over. Yep. It's up a little higher in the sky. What are you anyway? That song you played. That instrument. That instrument! Wait, that's it! Your instrument! The mask salesman said that if you got back the precious thing that was stolen from you, he could return you to normal. Did you completely forget or what? You know? That's a great point. <laughs> We don't want no scrubs. <laughs> Great. Let's just spin. Were you able to recover your precious item from that imp? <laughs> oh, oh, oh! You got it! You got it! You got it! Then listen to me. Please play this song that I'm about to perform and remember it well. He has his piano. Somehow. I promise I'm doing this right, you just can't tell. This is my favorite ocarina song. I love the song of healing so much. I love its concept, I love its melody, I love it. <laughs> Goodbye! Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> this is a melody that heals evil magic and troubled spirits, turning them into masks. I'm sure it will be of assistance to you in the future. 
Ah, yes, I give you this mask in commemoration of this day. Fear not, for the magic has been sealed inside the mask. When you wear it, you will transform into the shape you just were. When you remove it, you will return to normal. You got the Deku mask to keep as a memento. So now we can freely inhabit the body of a Deku. We can freely go back and forth between human form and Deku form. Now I have fulfilled my promise to you. So please give me that which you promised me. <laughs> Don't tell me. My mask. You did get it back, didn't you? <laughs> what have you done to me? If you leave my mask out there, something terrible will happen. <laughs> the mask that was stolen from me, it is called Majora's Mask. It is an accursed item from legend that is said to have been used by an ancient tribe in its hexing rituals. It is said that an evil and wicked power is bestowed upon the one who wears that mask. According to legend. The troubles caused by Majora's mask were so great Ancient ones, fearing such a catastrophe, sealed the mask in shadow forever, preventing its misuse. But now, that tribe from the legend has vanished, so no one really knows the true nature of the mask's power. But I feel it. I went to great lengths to get that legendary mask. When I finally had it, I could sense the doom of a dark omen brewing. It was that unwelcome feeling that makes your hair stand on end. And now that imp has it. I'm begging you, you must get that mask back quickly or something horrible will happen. I'm begging you, I'm begging you, you must do it. Really? You'll do it for me? I was certain you would tell me that. You'll be fine. Surely you can do it. Believe in your strengths. Believe. So, like, a couple things. Actually, a couple things. First of all, there's no time in this clock tower. There's the little, like, icon at the bottom of my screen. It's not here. Also, if time works the way it should be working, Link would have just left the clock tower after talking to the happy mask salesman and then you know reset time appeared outside the clock tower and then come right back in and the happy mask salesman is like oh you're done the happy mask salesman does not exist in time he's not possible the happy mask salesman is a paradox okay well let's go back up to the world we're able to actually save our game now that mask. The Skull Kid uses the power of the mask to do those terrible things. Well, whatever it takes, we've got to do something about it. The swamp, mountains, oceans, and canyon that Tail was trying to tell us about, I bet he was referring to the four areas just outside town. There's one in each compass direction. But what do you suppose he meant by the four who are there? I have no idea. He always skips important stuff. I guess we should just go and find out. If we go through that gate straight ahead, we'll be heading in the direction of the swamp. One thing, however, a little trick that that scarecrow tried to teach me that I skipped through. Uh, let's see if I can remember how to do this properly. Ugh. The inverted Song of Time slows the flow of time, which is crucial because now time moves at a much more reasonable pace. And this doggy, jeez, oh, maybe mark it over here. 
Get over here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Gotcha. I gotcha. No! Ha! Take that. <laughs> he just sits there. Alright. So, we can save the game. Bye. Ye who hold the sacred sword leave proof of our encounter. Like this! Our owl statues! So yeah, the only other way to save your game is to restart time. So like you can't, the only way to save in the middle of a three day cycle is to use the owl statue. And you can only have like one owl statue save at a time. So it's sort of like a like having a one quick save slot, which is kind of neat. Um, that is the opening of Majora's Mask. Recently, <laughs> recently I was talking to one of my friends about Star Trek, actually, um, and about my favorite episodes. And I was like, wow, you know, I seem to really have a thing for Groundhog Day type episodes. I wonder why that is. And then like several days later realizing, oh, <laughs> it's because of Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask is my favorite type of time travel game where we just are going to relive these three days over and over and over again until we can stop the Skull Kid. Uh, so this is the end of our prologue. We're going to be heading to the swamp first. Well, we're probably going to have a couple things to clean up in town first. We definitely have to go visit the Great Fairy again because she mentioned that. Um, we can get some bombs, and we'll see what other kind of stuff we can do before we head off to the swamp. So, thanks a lot for watching. I'm really excited about this, and um, I'll see you all later. Bye bye